Hi students, your new academic session has started and we are back with the second and last part of our previous video on trigonometry. Keep writing to us at info at the rate or call us at 9650177361 for free doubt sessions. Last time we learned how trigonometry can help us. It can help us through ratios of angles. Now, let's learn these trigonometric ratios. Okay, good. Let's start with 60. How do we find the value of sine 60? Sine is perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So if we know this ratio, we know the value of sine 60. So bring back our favorite right angle triangle 1 with theta as 60 degrees. So this angle is 180 minus 90 minus 60, that is 30. Now if we draw an identical triangle 2 like this, we get this Big triangle ABC, which is equilateral. How? Let's see. Since 1 and 2 are identical, this angle becomes 30, which means angle A is 30 plus 30, 60. Angle C is 60. So all three angles in ABC are 60. Since it is equilateral, all sides must be equal. And if base of triangle 1 is A, base of triangle 2 is also A and total base of triangle ABC becomes A plus A, 2A, which means sides AB and AC are also 2A. Let's find AD that is perpendicular P. Our original triangle 1 is right angled, so P square plus A square is equal to 2A square, which means P square is 4A square minus A square, 3A square, and hence P is root 3A square, that is A root 3. So in this triangle, for angle 60, base is A, perpendicular is A root 3, and hypotenuse is 2A. So now, sine 60 is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. We know perpendicular, which is A root 3, and hypotenuse, which is 2A. So sine 60 becomes root 3 by 2. Cos 60 is base by hypotenuse, that is A by 2A, 1 by 2. Tan 60 is perpendicular by base, that is A root 3 by A, root 3. Rest of the three ratios are just reciprocals. So cot 60 is equal to 1 by tan 60, that is 1 by root 3. Sec 60 is 1 by cot 60, equal to 1 by 1 by 2, that is 2. And cos x 60 is equal to 1 by sin 60, that is 1 by root 3 by 2, 2 by root 3. In the same triangle one, we also have an angle of 30 degrees. So let's find the ratios for 30. Since the vertical side AD makes 30 degrees with the hypotenuse, it becomes base for angle 30, which is A root 3. And the horizontal side BD opposite to angle 30 becomes perpendicular, which is A. Hypotenuse is 2A. Proceeding further, let us pause for a while to understand the concept of base and perpendicular. Let's take a right-angled triangle with one acute angle as theta and other one x. Let's name the perpendicular sides 1 and 2. Now, if we have to find trigonometric ratios, that is sine, cos, etc. for angle theta, this side 1 that makes this angle with the hypotenuse is the base and side 2 which is opposite to it becomes perpendicular. However, if we have to find sine cos for angle x, which is made by side 2, then 2 becomes base and 1 becomes perpendicular. So what is base and what is perpendicular actually depends on which angle we are talking about. So whenever we talk about base and perpendicular, we will always mention the angle under consideration. Okay, coming back to our problem, we have base A root 3, perpendicular A, and hypotenuse 2A. We can now easily write ratios for 30. Sine 30 is perpendicular by hypotenuse, that is, A by 2A, 1 by 2. Cos 30 is base by hypotenuse, that is, A root 3 by 2A, root 3 by 2. And tan 30 is perpendicular by base, that is, A by A root 3, 1 by root 3. Cot 30 is 1 by tan 30, 1 by 1 by root 3, that is root 3. Sec is 1 by cos, 1 by root 3 by 2, that is 
2 by root 3 and cosec is 1 by sine. 1 by 1 by 2, that is 2. So, we have got the trigonometric ratios for angles 30 and 60. That was pretty easy, right? Assume one side of a right angle triangle and find other sides. Then just calculate the ratios. And why do we take right angle triangles? Because it's easy to find the sides because we know Pythagoras' theorem. Thanks to the awesome Greek mathematician. All right, let's move to 45 degrees. So in a right angle triangle, if theta is 45, the other angle also becomes 45, which means that the triangle is an isosceles triangle. Both base and perpendicular are equal, say A. So hypotenuse becomes under root A square plus A square, root 2A square, that is A root 2. Let's find the ratios now. Sine 45 is perpendicular by hypotenuse, that is A by A root 2, 1 by root 2. Cos 45 is base by hypotenuse, which is again A by A root 2, 1 by root 2. And tan 45 is perpendicular by base, A by A, 1. Rest are just reciprocals. So cot is 1, sec is root 2, and cosec is also root 2. How do we find the ratios for 0 and 90? In the triangle, if theta becomes 90, it means that hypotenuse becomes perpendicular to base which actually means that hypotenuse and perpendicular are one and the same. And this triangle actually becomes a straight vertical line in which length of base becomes zero. So, sine 90 is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse and both of them are equal, that is B by B, one. Cos 90 is base by hypotenuse, that is zero by B, zero. Tan 90 is perpendicular by base, B by 0, which is infinity. Cot is 1 by 10, so cot 90 is base by perpendicular. 0 by B, that is 0. Sec 90 is 1 by cos 90, which is 1 by 0, infinity. And cosec 90 is 1 by sine 90, that is 1 by 1, which is equal to 1. Now next is 0 degrees. If theta is 0, it means that hypotenuse becomes base, B, and the triangle becomes a horizontal line, which means that length of perpendicular becomes 0. So sine 0 is perpendicular by hypotenuse, that is 0 by B, 0. Cos 0, base by hypotenuse, that is B by B, 1. And tan 0 is perpendicular by base, that is 0 by B, 0. Cot is 1 by 10, so cot 0 is 1 by 0, infinity. Sec 0 is 1 by cos 0, which is 1. And cosec 0 is 1 by sine 0, which is 1 by 0, infinity. So, this is the table for all the ratios of these five angles. This was very straightforward. You just need to absorb the concept of base and perpendicular. We can note some observations here. For all angles, values are positive. For these angles, maximum value of sine and cos is 1, and minimum is 0. Actually, for all angles from 0 to 90, values of sine and cos lie between 0 and 1. This means that in any question, if you calculate the value of sine or cos for angles 0 to 90 to be greater than 1 or less than 0, it means your answer is incorrect. In fact, as we move from angle 0 to 90, value of sine increases from 0 to 1 and cos decreases from 1 to 0. Value of tan increases from 0 to infinity. Alright, we'll see you next Saturday, 21st April. Like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.